So in previous video I showed you that for each VLAN, whether you run common spanning tree or rapid spanning tree doesn't matter. One instance of a spanning tree protocol has to run, one instance of algorithm has to run, and uh, it has to be calculated for each VLAN separately. Let's see this in action. So let's go to, for example, switch 2, or switch 3 as a matter of fact. So I go to switch 3, and what I'm going to do is to show spanning tree VLAN 1. For VLAN 1, it says that Ethernet 0, 02 is the root port. Okay, so what about VLAN 10? It says again Ethernet 0, 02 is the root port. What about VLAN 20? It says Ethernet 0, 02 is the root port. So you see that whatever we do, just one of the links are going to is going to be chosen for the root port. So why would we run so many instances to get the same result? What I want to do is to run only one instance or two instances to get one result. I don't have to run so many instances. Let's say that I have hundreds VLANs. I don't really want this switch to run hundred VLANs and all the switches in the network to run hundred VLANs to get the same result as they just run one uh, instance. So what I want to do is to group these VLANs and say that for all these group, only one uh, instance of a spanning tree has to run. And this is the role of multiple spanning tree protocol or MST in short. So let's go back to the topology that we had here. In my topology, I chose to have VLAN 10, 20, and 30. Um, root bridge has to be switch 1. And for VLAN 40, 50, 60, I chose switch 2 as root bridge. So why not group them into two uh, instances of spanning tree protocol using MSC. So what I need to do is to run these commands on all switches, but let's go to one of the switches and first of all enable it on that. Then I'm going to copy the commands and, and run it on all switches. So uh, first of all I go to configuration mode and I'm going to type spanning tree mode and you see that there are three modes here supported, but on your switch it might be more or less. I'm going to type MST, right? That's it. This changes the mode to MST. Now it says uh, inconsistent superior PVSC VPDU. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to change the configuration in a minute and I'm going to uh, apply it to all switches. But let's go here to configuration of MST. So spanning tree. MSD and after that we have configuration. So I just go with configuration and hit enter. Now that I am under MSD configuration, I can choose to have instances and under instances I can choose the VLANs. So I just type instance and let's say for example instance 1, that's the number of instance, and then I'm going to give it the range of VLANs or VLANs that has to go under instance 1. So let's say that I'm going to have VLAN 10, 20, and 30 under VLAN instance 1. I'm going to have another instance, and that's going to be instance 2 for VLAN 40, 50, and 60, and hit enter. Now that I have done that, I can just add some more configuration to this, for example, the revision number, or for example, I add a name to that, but I guess everything is okay and I'm going to exit, right? Now show run everything that has include or let's say the section MST and I'm going to copy these commands and I'm going to paste it for all the switches here. So first of all let's end this and save this and for all switches I'm going to paste the commands in this command. Uh, window, so I just hit enter first, then type en, then go to configuration mode, and then I'm going to paste this commands here and enter these commands for all the switches, then end, and then the VR. Okay, so one more configuration. So for each instance, I can set the priority, or I can say that, for example, this switch is going to be the root switch or uh, let's say, um, let's change everything that I want to have. So, so let's see what I, have, what I have here. Now that I have configured MSC on all the switches successfully, 
I need to type show spanning tree. Let's say for example VLAN 10 and hit enter. Now it says uh, the things are a little different. The mode is changed to MSTP. I am still root bridge and this is exactly what I want because I have configured switch 1 to be root bridge for VLAN 10, 20 and 30. Uh, the timers are the same, doesn't really matter, but it acts exactly like rapid spanning tree. So if I change a configuration, that's not going to affect my network uh, in a drastic way. It, it just happens very fast and everything changes very fast. So what about VLAN 40? It doesn't say that, oh, for VLAN 40 it says that I am the root bridge still. So if I go to switch 2 and check show spanning tree VLAN 10, it says this switch is the root bridge for VLAN 40. It says again, this switch is the root bridge, which is switch one. So what about the configuration that I had before? So I'm going to type show run section spanning tree. And it says that for these VLANs, I have the priority set, but it doesn't really work anymore. So let's change the configuration a little bit. So I'm going to First of all, remove this line of command. Then I'm going to type this specific command here. Spanning tree, MST, and then it asks me for the instance number. I had instance 1 for VLAN 10, 20, 30, and instance 2 for 40, 50, 60. So I am on switch 2, so what I'm going to do is to go for instance 2. And then it says, set the priority here. I'm going to set the priority to zero here and hit enter. This is going to change the configuration a little bit. So if I check show spanning tree uh, VLAN, let's say 40, now it says this is the root bridge. And you see that the interfaces are all in forwarding mode. You don't have to change anything. And the same command, of course, has to be run on the other switch, but the VLANs are going to be different. The instance, of course, is going to be different on switch one. What I'm going to do is to type spanning tree MST instance one. The priority is going to be zero. And that's it. This way, I have configured the priority here. And also, I need to remove that previous command that I had section spanning tree this command is no longer necessary so i just type it here and add a no in front of that if i show spanning tree let's say for vlan 10 i am the root bridge based on what it says and if i just go for vlan 40 it says that switch 2 is the root bridge based on the configuration that we had on switch 2 now we run only two instances, not 10 instances or 20 instances of spanning tree protocol. And MSC is a very, very nice way to uh, utilize the resources in the best way. Also, make sure that everything happens as we wish. I can, of course, do the same thing on uh, switch 8. And, of course, it doesn't need to do in front. It says the protocol is MSC, the root bridge for 40 is this, and everything in this way. One of the interfaces is in blocking mode, and the other one is in forwarding mode.